dudes. I was going through my submissions pile for that mega request video, and I noticed a good many of you would thoroughly dig some Blink-182 drumming action in your lives. But Travis Barker is the first drummer I ever knew by name. He drummed the first record I ever owned, and he headlined the first concert I ever attended. Damn it, the man is on my Mount Rush dude of drumming, and his art cannot be contained in a 10 second snippet filmed in my moldy basement. And it's not like a pile of 10 second snippets can contain it either, but come on man, I need love from strangers on the internet to feel like a worthwhile person. So without further Mountain Dew, here is my attempt at 5 Travis Barker signature gnarly drum techniques. Number 1, go hard. Let me start by establishing the baseline level of thrash you gotta bring to this dude's music. So there's your center. But on behalf of my sensitive musicians around the world, what about dynamics, man? What if we need to bring the mood down? I propose that Travis's dynamic choices are in the instruments he chooses, not in how loud or soft he plays. So in keeping with rule number one, you smack the <laughs> out of whatever you smack, but if you need to make less noise, you create the illusion of a softer dynamic by smacking the <laughs> out of something that's less inherently ear-bleedingly loud, like a side snare or rims. <laughs> I figured the internet could use some more of that verse. Now for the jazzers out there who still aren't satisfied, well, this entire genre of music was created as a rebellion against my stepdad, and you're acting a lot like my stepdad by trying to control the volume of my outrage. And lastly, to solidify rule number one once and for all, I have two parting words for you dudes. Fortissimo Cowbell. Number two, think of your cymbals as an extension of your drums. So many of my favorite Travis grooves harness the entire orchestra of sounds the drum set offers. So while the rest of us are thinking of cymbals just as phrase punctuation, the dude himself utilizes his plates like their higher voice drums and throws them right into regular patterns. Dig it. Get your marching chops together. Exhibit A, the snare march. It's basically the default Blink-182 bridge beat, so there's a lot to choose from. Here's a random one. Exhibit B, take that marching pattern to the ride for the gentler moment. And then I saw her standing there with green eyes and long blonde hair. She wasn't wearing underwear, at least I prayed that she might be. And Exhibit C, turn those marching chops into hat patterns, dude. Number four dudes, know your half time, full time, double time, and punk time in any tempo, and master the flow from any one to any other. Or K-Y-H-T-F-T-D-T-P-T-A-T-M-F-A-O-A-O -A -A -O when you're hanging with your rad drum bros and you want to use rad abbreviations, D. And what I mean by that is half time, time, double time, and punk time. Because to play this kind of music, you want to be in touch with each of those resolutions for any given tune, regardless of which one you started on. Check out Travis's masterful flow between them. I'll give you a few examples so you can really dig it.
Get Your Singles Together, which is admittedly also number five from the Carter Beaufort video. But the Travis singles so differently from the Carter. Think less sleek and way more raw and just riddled with random accents on either hand throughout. Exhibit A, here's the classic manifestation of what I mean. You hear this move all over the Blink catalog. <laughs> Exhibit B, the classic, for eight bars straight. Exhibit C, and I'll leave you on this one, is the pinnacle of Travis Barker breaking drums in half. You single for an entire bridge, you break up the phrases, you mix in duples with the triples, you bleed from the hands and you cry for your mom. Check it. Thanks for watching and digging. If you're a fan of Travis Barker's music, show him some love in the comments, because he signed this stick for me to give away to one lucky subscriber of this here doodly channel. I'll keep an eye out for you. Later, dudes. Subscribe.